you, Princess Tina. Just call me Hug. No need to be so proper. Quite right, quite right. The sooner you get to know each other, the better. <laughs> the royal wedding takes place tomorrow. So soon, Father? Look, Your Majesty, I can't marry a daughter. I ain't even grown up yet. You are quite grown up enough for me. Now, you two get on with the courtship. Uh, I have to attend to uh, uh, <coughs> the wedding preparations. <laughs> and about your growing up, stop. That's a royal order. I'll sure try, Your Majesty. Huh? Yes, ma'am. I hope you're not too displeased at having to marry me. Oh, shucks, it ain't you, Princess. You're real purty, and I like you fine. But I'm just a kid. I don't know how to start to be married. I think a marriage should start with love. Don't reckon I know much about that, neither. I know about love, and I must confess that my love is for someone else. He's a brave and handsome hunter. His name is Bitto. Well, couldn't you marry him and stay it? But you don't understand. He is only a commoner. So am I, ma'am. About as common as you can get. But Father has ordered our wedding, so it must be. Suppose I just refuse to go through with this here ceremony. What then? The king's word is law. Besides, a company of royal archers will be at your side with poison arrows. So I'm afraid if you don't marry me, you'll be a dead giant. Oh. I still can't see why anyone would want to go back to a land of giants. But to us, they aren't giants. They're the same size we are. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, well, as to your reward, you may have anything within the entire kingdom. Anything. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is what we ask. You must allow Princess Tina to marry Biddle. But he's just a commoner. You can change that, can't you? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> Lord Bitto. Hmm, has a nice ring to it. Lord Bitto. Good. It is done. My congratulations to you, Lord Bitto. You'll make a more fitting husband than I would. Princess Tina. So long, Lord Biddle. Bye, Your Majesty. <laughs> 